Topaz Data Loading. This video will use a typical example from the Permian Delaware Basin with multi phase rates and bottom hole flowing pressures with the oil phase going below the bubble point and significant water production during the well producing life. This video is the first part of three videos of the Topaz unconventional workflow. Open a blank Topaz document and set the reference date as 14th July 2014 and time zone to Mountain Time with UTC negative 7. Keep the oil field units. Change the well radius to 2.44 inches, the pay zone thickness to 200 feet, and the porosity to 8%. The reference phase is defined as oil and PVT as multiphase. Click on the advanced PVT icon, select saturated oil, bubble point fluid, and water. In this section, the reference parameters for pressure, temperature, and GOR are 8700 PSIA, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and 2208 standard cubic feet per barrel, respectively. These are typical values seen in parts of the Permian-Delaware Basin. The gas-specific gravity is 0.9, and the gas properties are left at their default values computed by PVT correlations. The oil gravity is 42 API. For oil properties, the computation of bubble point pressure and solution gas ratio use the selected Lasseter standing correlation. In the right table, the bubble point pressure value of 4012 PSIA is computed based on this correlation. The user has a choice to further match the reference correlation to a measured bubble point pressure constraint. Click on Edit and set the constraint to 9000 PSIA 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 4000 PSIA. Once done, this constraint is applied using a match icon. A new GOR of 2208.8 is computed based on this constraint. Validate this new value to ensure consistency and fluid characterization. Leave the oil compressibility, formation volume factor, and viscosity to be computed by their default correlations. Next, for water properties, the salinity is 21,000 ppm, which is used to compute the density, while leaving other properties at their default values computed by correlations. Validate by clicking on OK. Since we will be loading multiphase rates and performing a multiphase interpretation, a relative permeability model is being used. Click on the relative permeability icon. The parameters of the two-phase water oil and oil gas rail perm models are modified. The modified stone 2 model is used for the three-phase relative permeability. Click OK to validate those changes. In the next step, since analytical models use a linearized PVT, the formation volume factor, viscosity, and total compressibility are computed at the reference pressure and temperature set in the PVT dialog. The default settings for the numerical models are retained. Finally, in the Tools dialog, fractured horizontal and infinite are selected for the well and boundary model respectively. Landing on the main analysis page, the next step is to load the multiphase rates. The multiphase rates can be loaded all in one go if they have been measured at the same time. In our case, as the times are different, one phase after the other is loaded using the load queue icon. The user has the option to load from ASCII, Excel, clipboard, keyboard, and databases. Here open the Excel file for the multiphase rates. Select the oil rate spreadsheet. Rates can be loaded as points or steps. Rates are recommended to be loaded as steps rather than points. Three options are available for loading the rates as steps. Duration, time at start, and time at end. The time format is set as time at start. Change the column formats to date, time, oil rate respectively, and set the units to correspond to the input data format. Rename the header as oil rate. Since time at start step format has been chosen for rates, 
The duration of the last step is required. Enter a duration of 9 days. From the upper toolbar, the color of the main phase can be changed in the production properties. Repeat the whole above process for loading water from the Excel file. setting the duration of the last step as 4 days. Repeat for loading gas rates with the 7 days last step. Now the loaded oil, gas, and water rates are shown on the history plot. Next, Load the bottom hole pressures from an ASCII file. The data format and properties are now defined. It is recommended to load pressures as points. Change the column format to date, time, and pressure respectively. The units correspond to the input data format, so are left without modification. Finally, proceed to load. The loaded pressures are added to the multiphase rates in the history plot. Sometimes, many rate steps are loaded from the file, which could significantly slow down the simulation, especially for numerical models. It is highly recommended to simplify the rates. This is done via the Edit QAQC dialog. Under Process option, choose Simplify. Different options are available to the user based on their criteria such as Change in Rates, time durations, percentage change in rates, or resampling frequency. For example, entering a 10% simplification for rates shows a reduction of rate steps from 102 to 56. It's done by merging the rates when the change between any two consecutive rates is less than 10%, honoring the cumulative. Select Create a New Gauge and confirm its name. Raw and simplified rate gauges are compared on the same plot. If required, the user will need to do this for the individual phases. This concludes the Topaz data loading session.